Today we're reading Dorothy and the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh no, I hope the witch doesn't know any magic spells. Okay, once upon a time, a girl named Dorothy ended up in the land of Oz. Wiggle, snap, story time! Once upon a time, there was a girl named Dorothy. Hi! <laughs> I lived in a place called Kansas with my aunt and uncle. Hello! Hello. Life on our farm was very hard. The oh. hot sun had baked everything until the land and all the buildings and even the people looked dried out and gray. The only thing that made me happy was my little dog, Toto. <laughs> Hi, Toto! Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue. Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap. So, one day Toto and I were playing fetch with the stick. When we heard a crazy loud sound, the sound was getting louder and louder and louder. Toto, we have to hide. I think a freight train is coming for us or something. Ah, a flying cow. Dorothy, a cyclone's coming. Cyclone? The house is totally flying. I think we've landed. I hope we're not too far from home. Wow. Okay, we're definitely far from home. I bet we're even farther than Oklahoma. <laughs> hey, who are you? He's a munchkin, and he's very grateful to you, noble sorceress. Grateful? To me? Why? Because you squished the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> what? Me? No way! I wouldn't even squish a fly! But you did squish her. Or your house did anyway. Look! Wow. I didn't do that on purpose, I promise! Don't worry, we're happy she's gone. She was a very wicked witch who ruled over the munchkins for hundreds of years. She was wicked. She was awful! She was the worst! Are you a munchkin? No, dear. I'm the witch of the north. Oh, a witch? Uh, but you seem nice. I thought all witches were wicked. I'm a good witch! The last wicked witch rules over the west. And she's even more wicked than her sister. Hey! She's gone! Did she come back to life? Oh no, zombie witches must be the absolute worst! No, no! See, when a witch is defeated, she disappears! Poof! I probably ought to get back to Kansas. How do I get back? Is there a train or something? Nope! Guess you'll just have to stay! Yay! You can be our queen! All hail Queen! What's your name? Dorothy? All oh, hail, hail Queen, queen Dorothy. Dorothy! Hooray! Yeah! Hurrah! But Dorothy didn't want to be queen, she just wanted to go home. I don't want to live in... Wait, what is this place called? Oz, dear. You are in the land of Oz. Guys, what am I going to do? Go straight to the center of Oz, to the city of emeralds. That's where the wizard lives. He can help you get home. How do I get to the center? To get to the city of emeralds, one must follow the road of yellow bricks. That road right there. Good luck, Dorothy. We want you to have these, Queen Dorothy. Me? Really? Aww. Well, you are the one who defeated the Wicked Witch. And they're also way too big for our munchkin feet. <laughs> they're really beautiful. And legend says they're magic. Maybe they'll protect you on your journey to the Emerald City. Well, they are super comfy, and they do match my dress. <laughs> OK, I'll take them. Dorothy and Toto said goodbye to the munchkins and began their trip down the yellow brick road when they passed a farm where something odd caught Dorothy's eye. Toto, look at that scarecrow. He almost looks like a real man, doesn't he? <laughs> Did you just wink? Maybe. <laughs> and you can talk? I've never seen a talking scarecrow. Well, how do you do, Mr. Scarecrow? I'm just very uncomfortable up here. I mean, I got a pole stuck in my back. Why don't you just get down from there? That would be amazing. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, wait, I know. It's because I don't have a brain. Aww. You don't? Nope, nothing but straw between my ears. That's too bad. I really like having a brain. At least I think I do. 
But it's my brain that makes me think that. Uh, I don't get it. Sorry, I'll help you down. Huzzah! I'm on my way to see the Wizard of Oz, and he's gonna help me get back home. Hey, maybe he could give you some brains. Why didn't I think of that? Well, it's settled. You'll come with me to the Emerald City, and the wizard will help me get to Kansas, and he'll give you a brain. Huzzah! And off they went to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. They walked for miles and miles until... <laughs> what was that? I think I hear it again. <laughs> Shh, Toto! <laughs> ah! Don't chop me! I would never! Why are you groaning? I've been stuck in this position for a whole year. It's Aww. very uncomfortable. Well, what can I do to help? Get my oil can, please. Oh, my joints are rusted stiff. Get my neck first. Ah, much better. Now my arm, please. What a relief. I thought I might be holding that forever. You saved my life. Dorothy saved my life, too. We're on our way to the Wizard of Oz. I'm getting a brain. Do you think he could give me a heart? You don't have a heart? How sad. Oh. It is sad. Enough to make me cry. But if I cry, I'll get all stiff and rusty again. Well, you absolutely must join us on our trip. To the wizard we go. Wait, oil can. Good call. Okay, now to the wizard we go. The gang continued toward the city of emeralds. These woods are kind of scary. We're safe. I have my oil can. The scarecrow can't feel anything. And you have the magic slippers. But Toto, what's protecting him? We are. Ah, we are? <laughs> oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. A big beast like you going after a tiny dog? Ooh, Scarecrow? That sounds scary! I'm the most cowardly coward who ever lived! It's okay to be scared sometimes, but you can't go around picking on smaller things just so you can feel brave. Where'd you get your courage? I don't know. I guess I've just naturally been tough. I wish I was tough. I've always been afraid of everything. Aww. Bears, spiders. Kittens. Hey, guys. Let's go, guys. Wait, you're just gonna leave me here? Out in these scary woods all by myself? Let me come with you. We're going to see the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to get a brain. And I'm getting a heart. I'll go ask the Wizard of Oz for courage. What are you asking the wizard for? I just want to go home to Kansas. Is Kansas a scary place? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I don't want to go. Then let's go find that wizard. All they had to do was follow the road of yellow bricks. Uh-oh. It doesn't look so far. I could probably jump across. Well, look who's being brave. <laughs> I'd be way too scared to cross. Now why'd you have to go and say that? For a second, I forgot I was a Frady cat. You're gonna have to carry each of us across one at a time. Take me first. I'm made of straw, so if you drop me, I won't be hurt. Here we go. Woohoo! You did it! I knew you could! <laughs> the cowardly lion bravely carried across the others one by one. Whew. Great work! <laughs> Now let's go meet the wizard! It had been a long and scary journey so far, but they were determined to find the wonderful wizard of Oz. Look, a river! Seriously, who designed this road? This is just poor planning. What if I chop some wood and build a raft? Great idea! The tin woodman got to work and soon built a perfectly seaworthy vessel. The gang hopped on and began to head to the other shore. There she is! The brat who squished my sister! It's payback time, sweetheart! <sighs> Suddenly, the wind picked up and the river began rushing. Oh no! We're floating away from the yellow brick road! And straight for the land of the Wicked Witch of the West! What are we gonna do? I can't swim! I'll fall apart! And I'll rest! Paddle harder! They all paddled as hard as they could, but the poor scarecrow got his paddle stuck in the mud, and the raft went rushing on down the river without him. Scarecrow! Dorothy! We'll come back for you, I promise! 
maybe I can swim against the current. Grab a hold of my tail and I'll pull you to shore. Ah, there's a fish! Phew, we made it. But where are we? We're so far from the yellow brick road and our poor scarecrow. Dorothy, Toto, the lion, and the tin man walked along the river looking for their friend. There he is! Shoo, go away! Dorothy, you came back! Aww. Of course! We're here to save you! Well, gang, shall we? Yup! I think the yellow brick road is just across this field of flowers. Ooh, poppies! They're so pretty! <laughs> yes, they are! And just wait until you smell them! The Wicked Witch of the West knew these poppies gave off a very powerful scent, one that would make even the largest beasts fall into a never-ending sleep. When you're asleep, I'll take back those sapphire slippers, and then you'll be powerless! <gasps> I'm getting sleepy. Oh, me too. But maybe just a little nappy wappy voiced. Yeah, <sighs> nighty night. <laughs> That's right, go to sleep, Dorothy. Now, time for Mama to get some new shoes! <laughs> ha! They're mine! Wait a second, they're stuck! The witch pulled with all her might, but she could not remove the shoes. They must be protected by magic! Well, I also have magic! And my flying monkeys! The boss! Take this girl to my castle! Aye aye! <laughs> Once the flying monkeys had carried Dorothy away from the poppies, the flower's power wore off, and Dorothy woke up. Ah! This frightened the monkeys. Ah! And they promptly dropped Dorothy to the ground below. Ugh. Ow! Ugh. Okay, that was scary. But look, come back on the yellow brick road. What about my friends? Down here. Oh, hi. <laughs> you seemed upset just now. Anything I can do to help? My friends and I are supposed to go see the Wizard of Oz, but we fell asleep in that field of poppies over there. But it's a good thing you got out. The poppies are very dangerous. Your friends will sleep forever if we don't save them. How do we do that? The other mice and I can go get them. We've lived here forever and the poppies don't bother us. But my friends are way too big for mice to carry. They may be too much for one mouse alone, but the whole crew? Piece of cake! And soon there were hundreds of mice gathering around Dorothy. We'll be back in a sec! And the mice scurried off into the field of poppies. Dorothy waited, and soon she saw her friends, still in a deep sleep, being carried across the flowers. You should have warned us that one of your friends is a scary lion! He's not that scary at all. Watch! Eek! Mouse! See? What's going on? We all fell asleep in the field of poppies, and these lovely mice helped save you. And look, we're so close to the Emerald City. Bye-bye, mouse friends. Thanks again for helping us. Anytime. Goodbye. And once again, Dorothy and her friends were off to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. The Emerald City. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. The Wicked Witch of the West. Run! But the Wicked Witch was too fast for them. The flying monkeys swooped in and snatched up the whole gang. Take that scarecrow and scatter his straw around until he's just a pile of clothes. And put that tin man in the recycling bin. Put the lion in a cage and sell him to the zoo. What about her? Take Dorothy to my castle. I'll take care of her. <laughs> hey, guys. How about just dropping me off here? I'll, I'll run along and I'll never bother the Wicked Witch again. No way. You wear the sapphire slippers. They're magic. Yeah, I heard that, but they haven't done anything magical so far. Well, you better watch out. The witch is definitely going to try to take those. When she arrived at the witch's castle, Dorothy was forced to do chores. And all the while, the witch watched, just waiting to take the shoe. Don't you want to change before you sweep up all that garbage? You'll get your shoes dirty. I'm OK, thanks. Oh, that floor is going to get slippery. Don't you think you should wear some less slippery <laughs> shoes? I got it. Good one. But no, I'm OK in these shoes. Then one day, the witch's wait was finally over. Dorothy was dusting a super high shelf when one of her slippers slipped right off. I got it! <laughs> it's mine! It's mine! Now give me the other one! Gimme! No, you gimme! You're powerless with only one shoe! 
So are you. <laughs> no. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> now look what you've done. What's another mess? You make me clean all day anyway. Not that. I'm melting. Say what now? I'm melting. Suddenly, Dorothy heard a familiar sound. It was a clanking of metal, a kind of swooshing sound, followed by a ferocious roar. Hey guys, how did you get here? The scarecrow had been pulled apart and scattered in a field. He lay in pieces when he suddenly had a bright idea. He knew that crows are pretty clever, so he called out and asked them to help put him back together, and they did. Once he was back to his old self, the scarecrow went to find the Tin Man. The Tin Man had been sold for scrap at a salvage yard and was feeling sadder than ever. But the scarecrow put him back together, polished him up, and they set off to find the lion. The lion had been locked up in a tiny cage and sold to the zoo. There, the scarecrow had another bright idea. He asked the Tin Man to use a bit of his metal to pick open the lock on the cage. And then the lion was free. It was time to save Dorothy. But first, the Tin Man stopped to unlock each and every cage because it made him too sad to see any creature locked up. The Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion headed toward the Wicked Witch's castle. We have to rescue you from the Wicked Witch. Come on. Thanks, but it's all good. She melted. <laughs> uh? huh? Let's go see the wizard. Now he'll grant our wishes. Hooray! The gang set out on their journey back to the Emerald City. And when they arrived, the wizard did not seem happy to see them. What are you doing here? So you can grant our wishes. Oh, I forgot to say please. Please, sir. <laughs> I cannot grant your wishes. Now go away. Wait, what? What do you mean you can't grant our wishes? This is baloney. You're supposed to be some wise and wonderful wizard. You're a charlatan, a humbug. Where are you? If you won't give me courage, then at least get some for yourself and come out and face us. Who are you? The wizard? You're the mighty and wonderful Wizard of Oz? Well, I'm actually from Omaha, Nebraska. I landed here accidentally some years ago and I somehow convinced everyone that I was a wizard. And well, here we are. So you're not a wizard. So you don't have any power. Um, no, not at all. Then we came all this way and did all of this for nothing? That's not true. You've saved everyone in Oz from the Wicked Witch. You'll be celebrated here forever, Dorothy. But I just want to go home. And I want a brain. I want my heart. And I want my courage. Scarecrow, you already have brains. How else could you have figured out how to put yourself and the Tin Man back together? And you, Tin Man, you've shown you have a heart. You freed all the animals in the zoo. And Lion, you showed bravery when you stormed the witch's castle. You've had what you were looking for the whole time. But what about Dorothy? Hmm, Dorothy. Let's see what we can do. Hey, what about the magic shoes? You've got the sapphire slippers? That makes you the most powerful person in Oz. Do you know how to use them? Mm, nope, no idea. I'll bet the good witch knows. Scarecrow, you're really on a roll here with all the brain stuff. That's a great idea. So the wizard sent out a call to the good witch of the north. Dorothy, my dear, how are you? The scarecrow was thinking you would know how to use the magic of the sapphire slippers to get home. It's quite simple. Take three steps in the sapphire shoes and say your wish. It's that easy? <laughs> Wait, you have to say goodbye first. Oh, oh, right. I almost forgot that I would never see you again. Tin Man, I'll never forget how kind you are. You have a wonderful heart. <laughs> Someone better get his oil can. <laughs> Lion, thank you for protecting us on our journey. Oh shucks, Dorothy. I'll miss ya. I'll even miss your terrifying dog, Toto. <laughs> Scarecrow, I don't think we would have made it without your quick thinking. I think you're the real wizard here. I better go. I love you guys, and I'll miss you. Come on, Toto. <laughs> we'll miss you. We love you. Bye, Dorothy. Dorothy took three steps and said, Take me home to Kansas. And in a flash, Dorothy and Toto were back in Kansas. It was more colorful than she had remembered, but maybe that's just because Dorothy was so happy to be home. The end. So the wizard turned out to be a little different than they thought he would be, but he still helped Dorothy find a happy ending. And wow, 
I totally want a pair of those magic slippers. So cool. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon.